Welcome back to Fallout 4, everybody. Last time we were here in Sanctuary, we built this um, admit uh, thing and you know, to get into the Institute and all of that on a quest called Molecular Level. Now, we still got to talk to Sturgis and then uh, apparently he's going to send us into the Institute. So we're going to finish that quest and then find out what happens next. So uh, I suppose we um, just need to talk to Sturgis and see what happens. Hey Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do it. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. That doesn't sound very, um... Whenever you're ready. So, okay, interceptor. Let's do this. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh... Just there for decoration. Okay. <laughs> Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. Whoa. The molecular level completed. Okay. Okay, we're in a room with funny things and a low humming sound. Okay, so this is the institute, I presume. Um, anything interesting around here? Okay, well, there's a door on this tube, but we can't access it. There's nobody here. Oh, it's actually a storage unit. Okay. Computer there. Okay. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Hey, who's that? I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Institutionalized. Enter the elevator. Okay, creepy. Next is Busted. Door. That's a chair. Man, everything is different in the Institute. I got weird stuff. Checked. He checked what? Okay, well, I suppose we don't have much of a choice here. I can only imagine what you've heard. What do you think of us? I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. Okay. This is the reality oh. of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. 
it has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted yeah, by well, those well, above well. ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific very personal reason. You are here for your son. Hmm. Inside job. Okay, well, let's switch that off in the meantime. Um. What does this button do? Okay. That would mind me helping myself. Hey, new vase. Radio. Broken. Connection. Okay. Glass vases. Okay, cool. Can't pick this. Why is a key? Man, I feel like I'm starting all over again. Oh, that's sick. Sean? Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. What the heck? Sean? Oh my god. It's really... It's really you. Who are you? Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Um. Sean, daddy's, daddy's gone, but, but I'm here. Mommy's here now. What's going on? Father, father. Hmm. Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Yeah, well that makes a lot of sense. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. 
It's good to finally meet you. After all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... Your son. Um, okay. Bullshit! Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. They stole you. Kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Okay. Um. What, human sense? Human sense? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create uh -huh. synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me. After discovering records from Vault 111. An infant. Frozen in time. Protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. What a crazy story, man. Sean... It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Um, okay. Uh. Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Um, Kellogg. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. 
You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Okay, um... So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. Um... But... Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Uh, I wonder. You want me to stay here and... In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of... All those people. Everything they've done. Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. Okay. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. Okay, um, let's do it. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB, Dr. Holdren in Bioscience, and finally Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Okay, meet division, division people. Um, and now what? Sean, uh, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. Okay. It seems like a strange choice, on more than one level. I can understand how it might seem that way, 
It was. It is something new. New discoveries are always welcome. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him? Like you would a real boy? Okay, but... I don't need a synth. I found the real Sean. Yes, but not the Sean you were looking for. In some ways, the synth is far closer to what you expected. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but... If in some small way the boy's presence can help, I hope you'll keep an open mind. Okay. Sean? Let your surroundings be a reminder of what science and willpower can accomplish. Okay, so we've met Sean. Well, we've found Sean. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Can I go through here? Yes, okay. Microphone, base plate. Um, all the new things. Microphone activate. Okay, this is kind of weird. Um, is he just gonna stand in now or? Everything is completely different than the institute made. Okay, so where are we supposed to actually go now? Oh, I don't actually want to do this just yet. get to you pop plant okay this is a bed there's some kind of bed okay there's a terminal what was that Sean's password something oh that's probably his uh Password is got there now. You know, off the stuff I couldn't recognize what it is. Okay, well I think I'm gonna leave it there in the meantime. Um can I go through here? Ah Okay, so I take it this is an exit. Let's see anything else to say? Sean. Hello mother. Enjoying your time here. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it there for this team. Let's see, institutionalize, meet the division aids, inside job. Okay, so we're gonna insert that thing. Um, now, let's, can we go back and then, yeah. Okay, can I exit through the thing though? That's the, that's the million dollar question. Can I go back? And I don't get back into the institute. Um, I think it was this way. The elevator. Does this go all the way up? Oh. This place is big. Looks like a vault. I want that building stuff. I want to build me a vault that looks like this. Okay. 
Okay, and as we have all earlier. This door. Useless. What did Virgil say? Is that I don't know the question with Virgil. He said something about his old lab and getting the cure. This is an old door, maybe it's through there. Okay, I don't know, we have to see at a later stage, I suppose. Um, okay, now I'm just wondering now if I do what I'm about to do, if it's gonna affect anything and relay button. Okay, well, it's computer. You access log. X3, 6. Okay, this is two courses. That were here previously, and this must have been me. Okay. Uh, load holotape. Uh, where is all tape? Network scanner. Okay, initiate network scan. Okay, downloading scan complete. Network detected. Yeah, that's it. Check. Okay, now how do I get back to? Can I come and go now as I need to? Or yeah, well, let's see if I can. This is gonna work. Emergency relay offline. Okay, so that means I have to go meet these people first before I can get out of here. Okay, I think we're going to do that in a part two. Um, okay, what was the quest we did now? Inside job, give the dollar tape to Sturgis. Okay, which we can't get out. So that means we have to meet the division heads before we can get out of this place. Okay, I think we'll do that for the next video. Okay, that's going to be it today guys. I will see you guys in the next episode, just after this one, part two of this. Till next time, cheers.